Hello and welcome back to Factor Y. In our last episode, we built this large uh, research token one array and the associated labs for it. And it is fully processing. It's all built and fully processing. I think a little bit of these here at the end might not always work, but that could also just be, no, they're working. Why is that not lit up? Oh, they're done. They're, they're done already. Uh, we're waiting on research token too, which means we need to work on those. But I was zoomed out here and I was looking at the colors and they're pretty colors. But I was also thinking about, you know, what do the colors represent and do does it help me any? And I'm not sure if it does or not, but I'd like to see if it does. Is it going to help me find things that I goofed up? That's the important part here. Is that telling me that I goofed up something here? Or is that just telling me that there are uh, different arrays of different things here and they're fine. I think that's what it's telling me. Um, but I saw here that there's some odd behavior, odd coloring here. Specifically this belt here, um, there might be, and there it is, there might be a Mark 1 belt still in there someplace. And there was. Uh, there might be another one of those as well. And this is the array, I think this is the array that uh, Mark was telling me that I had something goofed up on. And there might be something goofed up up here too, like... Uh, what am I seeing there? Is that is that just an artifact of energy? Burner Mark One. I'm not sure what the different color is there. That might be just an artifact of the wrong thing showing the color. Like it might be showing the arm color as opposed to the burner color. I'm not sure there, but I think this one's okay, but that helped me find that belt, which is kind of nice. But also thank you, Mark, for pointing out that I missed one. Um, so uh, we need to work on uh, a new research token to array, and we can take a look at what that's gonna cost us. Uh, we already know that it costs iron and therefore coal or some kind of fuel, whether that's electricity or not, to, to, keep, this, uh, to keep this going. Uh, we need those to keep this going. And then these, we know that we need um, we know we need copper and iron uh, to go into those arrays as well. So if we did the math correctly on this, we might be able to figure out exactly how much copper and how much iron we need for the whole the whole shebang for one of these builds or whatever the whatever the case may be. So we can use these as a template to come up with that answer. So we know here, uh, actually start at the end and work our way backward. We know here that we need to have. Uh, uh, what we need to have for the one RT2 every 512. We have two of those in an array because I believe at least that we want to make one every 256 per array because of how many belts we uh, they're needed here. This, these need one belt and this will make one belt every 256. So that's why, because we, we need one belt every 256 between the two. And then you also need one RT1 uh, every 512, so one, every, one RT, one every 256 between the two, which is one of these lines. So that's also a number that we can easily come by. And then beyond that, we need, uh, let's see, we need wire. Uh, we need two wire every 512 for each of them. And this happens to make two wire every 512. So that's why we have one of each of these here. And each of those is going to need one copper plate every 512. And then we also have the need for iron for this and that. And this and that will need uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, two iron plates together, because uh, one here and one there. The yellow number tells us how many we need total. Uh, every five, every 256. So we need two iron plates every 256 plus two copper plates. No, sorry, one copper plate every 256 for this array, not counting this. And this would also add in another one iron plate every 256. So it should be three iron plates every 256, one copper plate every 256 for one RT1 every 256. Um, and it is, because one of these is showing three iron and one copper every 512 and we have two of them per array. But what I'd also like to do with this is try and actually modularize this. We are, uh, we gained a few abilities along the way uh, doing some of the researches. Let's go into the research screen just for a moment here. This here, this plugins, which we looked at briefly that allows you to do some controls on the uh, arms and other uh, machines potentially. I think that'll fix the issue I was having with the um, with the RT2 build initially, and obviously we didn't do this until after we had RTs going because they required RT2s. So I'd like to try and revisit this setup to uh, 
ideally at least include or to, to put this into a module and ideally include this build as well this build specifically not the not the smelter but just the gear and the uh, rt1 if we can into this entire build so that we can do um one sort of single module for for rt2 so what i'd like to probably do is take a copy of this sort of um and i think we can just copy that and then open up the module thing and paste it haha <laughs> we can Okay, now obviously we need to make changes to this because we also need to incorporate another gear box and another RT1 box. And we could also consider doubling this with the fast machines. Maybe I should do that too. That might be worthwhile. Because um, we did that with the RT1s, we should do that with the RT2s. Right? Right. Uh, so this will need to be RT1 here in this in this as well so this is what we need but we need to make these rt2s and i think we can just do that by going uh nope going here there and just upgrading them in place we'll have to do the math on each of these arms to see what we oopsie to see what we need oh these wiped each other they wiped all of them out of course they did okay wire there uh you go there with wire um this was rt2 those are here there this that's totally not what i wanted this here is belt rt1 uh mark one rather um this was gears those are here and this was one of these was gears and then this was rt1 and that's everything we need for this array in mark ii assemblers which means that it makes twice as much now. It's gonna make two, well, each machine's gonna make one every 256. So we'll end up with two every 256, which means we'll need to have uh, six iron and two copper um, every 256 then, no problem. That's also easy math to do. So let's take a look at this. How can I clean this array? Actually, let's remove the inserters too, because we're gonna probably have to fix those and remove this belt too, because I would like to, well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I would like to do away with this belt as well, uh, just to make my life simpler. So could I move this stuff in such a way that I can do the inputs um, correctly? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Do I want to do that? I hope so. Um, could I do something insane like, like this and like that? Does that help me much? I don't know if that helps me much or not. Um, we we'll want to output, we we'll want to input six iron every 512 or the combination of these things. Um, maybe the iron's got to go to here, here, and here though, which is a big bummer. Um, if there's a better way to do that, I need to think of it. Um, and still have the source be on the edge of the belt. But maybe not, or on the edge of the, mach the machine, but also maybe. Uh, what if I did the offset like I had before? But how to get it to this unless I just do a separate belt for this one? Um, which I could potentially do. These two need to direct insert there. I really don't want to go with long inserters because that changes the timing on them. Uh, puts them that them at basically twice or half the speed, twice as slow, uh, which I don't necessarily want to do, but we could do. Um, let's see. You're going to need to flip one, two gears every five, every 256. So it has to be, this has to be a fast arm Mark II. Yeah, Mark II arm. It has to be because it needs to move that fast. This is going to flip one belt each direction every 256. So this could be slow arms here and here. Uh, this is gonna flip one RT1 every 256 in each direction. So that's the same answer. Uh, this is gonna need to have two gears every 256. So that's gotta be a fast one. This needs to take four wire every 512, which is two every 256. So that's a fast one as well. Hmm. Now, how do I adjust this to make it better? I could potentially put the gears on the outside of this array. What if, what if, what if I moved these over here? And then of course, not you, but you come with, 
And I moved... Hmm. That doesn't work either. I was thinking of putting the gears over... Both gear machines over here. But that doesn't help me for trying to get the gears all the way down to this. Because if I tried to do that... I don't have undergrounds. And I don't have a way of getting a belt into there, especially not at that speed, or up, up with that speed of arm, like a longer long arm or whatever. I could potentially bring the belt around and squirrely, but I don't really want to do that either, because that just feels ugly to me. So let's not do that. What if I did instead uh, this here? And then this one here. Uh, I wish I had these these uh, new modular module things done because I might want the belt like uh, inputs here. But for now we can do the the sources. For now we can do uh, a source like this. And what if we source the iron? Um. What if I source the iron like... I don't want to do it that way either. What if I source the iron here and here? And what if I source the copper here and here? Uh, not there, sorry. Here. And then I output these... That wouldn't be the output though, Wally. This would be the output. And I output these onto the outsides like this. The issue with that is going to be... So we need to have two input belts coming coming down either side of this, which is fine. And then the outputs would have to come, you know, maybe uh, this would output onto a belt that came this way, and then the opposing pairs would put out in separate under the same belt, like this, and then that would have to come down or whatever. That would work out okay. Um, but I'd have to really think about how this works. Um, I would love to be able to have this be not sticking out like this, so I could change you to be like this, and then put this over here, and then do the same for this one here, and this over here. That's better. Uh, you're outputting two every 512, so that can be a slow arm into that box. Same there. That's better because it's a little bit tighter. Uh, that's why it's better. Um, what did I have here? Oh, then this has got to move down for copper, which messes me up because of, or use if I use swappers, but if I do a different build, then that's fine. Uh, let's do this. This needs to be copper, not iron. Uh, that's there. And then, can I just do that? Yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, iron, this box of iron, every, you know, cycle of machines. Um, well, let's, let's see. I want to limit this to producing five, I think. Uh, it's going to produce two. Let's make ten, then. Let's do it at ten. Limit you to ten. And the same with your, your friend over here. And then let's just run this. Uh, just, well, I guess I need inserters here still. Uh, you're going to need two iron plates every 256, so you're a fast boy. And you're going to need two iron plates every 256 also, so you're fast as well. Uh, you need one copper every 512. Uh, two copper every 512, so you're a slow boy. That means you are as well. And then you need... One iron plate, two iron plates every 256, so you're fast as well here. And now that should have re restarted, recalculating everything. And I just want to see kind of how the calculation goes without me touching it to start with. This is going to be a problem with the belts going either direction and the RT1s going in either direction. But I have an idea for that that I'd like to uh, try here. Uh, but for now, I want to just kind of let it process and make sure that it can complete itself here before too long. Did I want to go with 10, or do I want to go with 5? Uh, let's also go faster. Uh, where's the faster button at? Fast ticking. There we go. I don't want to do extra fast, because I'm afraid of it. Really? Uh, so you made 10, you made 10. You say you need 27, that's too many. But we'll figure out what it's actually going to be. This says it needs 14. This says it needs 14. This says it needed 53. I know this is, this is too many. Uh, I believe this should be 10. This should be 10. Uh, this one should be, if all works the same, it should be 20. And then these should be 40, I think. 
uh, given all the numbers we have. Because we said six... Well, we said you need three and one every five twelve times two. So you need six and two every five twelve. So we need six and two every times two. So we need six and two every two fifty six to make ten of them. That means we need six times ten total and two times ten. So ten and ten makes sense for copper. And then a total of sixty, this needing twice as much. I think, is this one, right? Because this is two plates every 256. This is one every 256. So this should be 20 and that should be 40. My guess was correct. Hey, look at me. Okay, so what I wanna do though is I wanna do a little bit of control here. So first of all, you get to be just 10. And I know you're gonna count like a mad person here, that's fine. And then this needs to be 20, I believe is what we came up with there. And then this one over here needs to be 40. But this isn't going to work. This can actually break. And the reason it's going to break is because this machine and this machine are not safely alternating. So there's 10 there. And there's 10. Actually, they are right now. But I want to make sure that they always do. So for every 10 that are made, uh, you need... You, this is making 20 belts. Total, I believe. So I want this machine to... Not filter... But count. I want you to count 10. And I want you also to count 10. And I want you also to count 10. And I want you also to count 10. And then I want you to stop. And did you make all of them? You did. And that's a little bit safer because then this machine, or rather its arms, cannot output to opposing machines more than they need to. So you won't have an imbalance in how much this machine gets versus how much this machine gets of either of these two source items. And we finished that research, by the way. Uh, we could probably go pick another one out. Uh, you could do arms three. We could do smelting three. Uh, we could do RT4. Uh, we could do mining three. We should do all three of the, all of those, actually. Uh, to be fair, but let's do mining three, I guess, first, first. Uh, that's going to be a minute before that's done. Oops, wrong button. Let's go back in here. So we have, we have this. Do I need, do I need the belt sources now? Or can I get away with, um, these take energy. They'll, these don't take energy. These take energy. Can I get away, do I, can I get away with just using the boxes? Or do I need, um, do I need to use the belt sources for iron, probably? Probably, especially this one. If this is 40 iron uh, and our modularized ticks are. I should do a divisor of 10. It's not telling me what the ticks are, though. A little bit. Wait, it does tell me where the ticks are. I just need to look in the right spot. Let's restart again. I believe if I mouse here, it tells me what the ticks are. There they are. There they are. 3330 to make uh, 10 or make 20, really. Uh, so let's set that number in here 3330. And let's uh, restart it just to be safe. Right now. Excellent. Excellent. So that means that you need, in 3330, you need 40 iron in this spot. How much is that per iron? 3330 divided by 40? 83.25. I cannot load one iron that fast. So that means that I need to have a belt uh, source here. Which is fine, we can do that. Uh, does that mean that I can still limit this to 40? It does. Did y'all finish correctly? Still? No issue there? No issue there. And so I think what I can do here is I can uh, feed the belt into that point, but I want to I want to play with this a bit. So let's uh, save this module. Uh, modularize. We'll call this um, RT2. That's simple enough. Now let's take a look at how this is going to play out because I don't have any idea. Uh, RT2 is here. 
and it tells me what I need. I need iron and copper, and I'm going to spit out our T2s. Uh, I don't know where I want to put this, but it's going to be somewhere where I can smelt this somewhere, but also way out here, because why build it too close together? Let's find a decent-sized iron patch, a decent-sized copper patch, and possibly some uh, some coal nearby as well. But it doesn't need to be a mega patch like that one, because uh, we're only going to be doing... Uh, six Mark, Mark II smelters, so it's not that huge of a thing. We could probably just go with this, maybe. Oh, we need to make those source, those belt-like sources. All right, yeah, let's make those, I guess. We also uh, spec'd out this stuff that we need to fiddle with, too. Uh, let's go with um, this one, that one, and this one, that one. What do these take? The, the chest likes, plus belts, plus motors. Okay, and this is a crafting time of what? 1024. The the chest-like source... Where are those at? I don't even know where those are at. They're around here somewhere, I think. Over here? They're there. Uh, these are chest-likes. These are... Oh, here they are. These two, right here. Right. Uh, so they make one every 1024. That's kind of good. Um, we need one belt, though. Uh, mark one every 1024. Uh, so they could share a belt maker easily enough. And then we need one motor every 1024, which motors are... We have those in a big array up here. Uh, motors are one every 512, so they could actually share one motor build, too. Let's, let's plot this out, because this is something we need to figure out. Uh, first, first. So we have um, well, these were these were just chips. Okay, that's easy enough done. But they're not going to go into that. Uh, they're just going to go somehow. Uh, they're going to go into their into their friends here. So I guess I didn't need to do this or that. I could have just copied the machines. And then we need to have uh, you, which are source. That's yellow. That's this one. And you, which are. Uh, sink which is purple which is that one we know that we know that we need one belt maker uh, we could put that in the middle maybe uh, belt array or belt maker here it needs of course gears uh, that'll be this and then we need motor which we already have a build for that so why recreate the wheel here let's do that and put it maybe something like where am I at where am I at right here uh, maybe something like this, uh, moving these, of course, up by one, and moving these, of course, down by one. Uh, we need to be able to get iron into this like we did with the RT2s, kind of. Um, we need iron and copper over here. Can I do this better? Probably. Do I want to try to do this better? Maybe. Um, maybe. I could do the same kind of thing that we did for the surface RT2s if I don't want to put this into a module, which I don't think I need a module for mall type stuff. I don't think I, because I'm not going to repeat it. For me, the module makes sense when you're going to do a repetitive action. And so in that case, maybe I should have done that for this. Although this was simple enough that I didn't really think it warranted it, uh, but maybe I should have. Um, that might've been smarter to have done um, either way. Uh, so if I did that, then I could do basically, um, where's it at? Where are they at? You could do basically this kind of thing with the belts for those, uh, like this. Almost. Like that. We could do something like that with the with the belt component, and then they could go either direction like we're doing with the RT2s, like that. And then this can come in like this, that one can come in like that, and we, we'd have to have iron to both sides, but we've done that before. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, and where do we want to put this? That's the, that's the next great question. Um, these are... where the heck are these at? Over here? Over here. We do already have iron here on this side. We don't have iron on the other side. 
Uh, but we could, this is a little bit bigger, wider of an array too. Um, so I don't necessarily want to put it on top of that, but we could put it over here and just do the same kind of build. And I'm just going to be lazy and just do what I've done here. That's fine. Take that over here. Could I use this iron that's over here already? I think I could if I could line it up properly. It looks like I can. Let's be lazy and use that iron. Because, well, I'm lazy. What are you going to do about it? Um, and then let's continue and put uh, iron here. Oops, and then copper can go here, something like this maybe, or maybe I should have done this. Copper there. Um, iron, let's see, you'll have a... No, you won't have that. You'll have this. Uh, you'll have this. Actually, we'll put a crossing there just for future proofing. And then you still need chips. Oh, I forgot about the chips. Crap, this doesn't work then. Uh, you gotta move. That's what I get for jumping the gun. You gotta move, because we need to have not just iron here, but chips here. So I need to push this out a little bit further um, and put a separate iron belt in over here, because this needs those chips. So I think what I should do here is... Um, to put iron here, put chips here, Take a splitter on the chips like this and a crossing like that. And then that way they will go across the crossing. And then a belt would come bring them into that machine like this. Uh, and then up here, though, it's a little bit simpler because the iron stops there. Uh, the chips can just come across like this. Well, they can go up there and come across like that. I think that's fine slash better anyway. Uh, so this is fine because I didn't actually change. Oh, I took that with. Never mind. Uh, iron goes split right here. Um, chips are down here. So we need to have crossings there, there, and there. And then you'll pull forward. I'm just going to pull everything forward. Who cares? Uh, these will come in from there. You'll come down like this or up like that, depending on which way you want to look at it. You'll do this. You'll do that. Uh, you'll need inserters here and here. And then these will need to go out into, uh, what, what, what's the speed? I'm going to do, can I do this? No, not those. This. Sorry if these sounds sounded crazy there. Um, weird uh, voice meter thing. This? Yeah, I'm going to do this just because I'm obnoxious. And then I want uh, that, this one. No, not that one. This one? Although I don't even know what size the one I rejected was. 50 of those? Yeah, probably not. But we'll do it anyway. I think this will work. Um, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I think this will work. So let's hook this up and see what happens. Uh, iron goes all the way across. Copper goes all the way across. You can go there just for fun. And you can go there just for fun. Or go there. I think this will work. And I really don't need to repeat this array. It's fine the way that it is. Um, so that's why I didn't do a module. And here I could do a splitter instead of having this extra arm. Uh, I would want to do a mixer here. And do it like this because if I did a, a one of these splitters here, then I'd have to do something about that belt like a crossing or something, and I don't want to do it. So that's better, because that reduces by one arm, which means it reduces the power usage. Um, let's see. One there, in the other way. And then four there. Versus, that's five, versus this being three, and one is only four. Yeah, this is actually a little bit cheaper power-wise. Not that that matters all that much. One power isn't going to make or break me, probably. All right, you're running. That's good. How about you? When do you get started? Once the copper gets in there, I guess. Yeah, there it goes. Did I remember everything? Who knows? And this obviously could have been different. I could have put these up here or even there and tightened this in a little bit. I don't care. That one's running. But this is where the arms will grab unevenly. 
as you can see, this one hasn't gotten any motors yet. That one's gotten multiple. But it should stop right there because this one has two in its box and there's one there. And so then this one will start getting some and it'll be fine once it, they get balanced out a little bit here. Yeah, see so that one finished, so it took one. Because this runs twice as fast, eventually it'll balance itself out. And it'll be fine in the end. I don't really care all that much, except that I want these and not those. Because <laughs> I need... Well, I need one of these, I guess. So I already should have it. Let's see if we have it. Here. We have one. Perfect. Okay, so let's try to place that module again. Where the heck was I going to place it? Down here someplace. Um, but actually we would need more than, let's see, we need six iron and two copper every 256 for one array, uh, which means three and one smelters for one array. So three and one, uh, mark two smelters, three and, three and one, um, mark two miners for every one. I could do this somewhere in this neighborhood then. Uh, there's plenty of coal, there's plenty of iron, plenty of copper. Let's just do it down here, and it's kind of across from that. Where's that? Over here? Yeah, over here. So we need smelters, of course. We don't know how many we want yet. Because uh, I don't know how much of this I want to produce yet. But more... Th the answer is more than we have right now, but uh, I don't know how much I want to reduce. Not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So build me one of these. Um, how do I want to do this? Probably more or less like this. Uh, I'm outside of the zone. That's fine. We'll just extend these over. Where am I at? A little bit more? Okay, a little bit more. Here we are. Like this. We connect these up up there, I suppose, too, if I really wanted to. Why not? Uh, we'll need them over here, obviously, too, to get this uh, iron mine. Um, I think I was going to use this copper, right? So I might be a little close here, but we'll figure that out. Uh, you are going to take iron in on this side on the belt. And I'm guessing for this, the belt just gets plugged in like that. Or you could cross it over, which is what I'm actually going to do, using a crossing uh, like this and then a belt. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You need one. You need four. You need one. You need two because you're only making one every... Yeah, because you did the divisor. So um, this is every 330, I guess, or 333. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, we'll need to have output belts that go here and here, but actually this one needs to come back to this point because there's going to be another one of these up here eventually, probably. Uh, copper can come from either direction. Iron can come from either direction. They should probably come from... Actually, it doesn't matter which directions they come from. Uh, let's, let's see here. We want to have... Copper's there. Where's my... Mm -hmm. Let's see, which one do I want to have? Let's do this array just because it's going to be... Um, I think it's, it's a little more um, very uh, able to be varied. Uh, let's see, iron. Yeah, I think I'd like this one better for iron at least. Let's do at least six of these because we know we're going to need... No, we know we're going to need at least three of these for one of these arrays. And then copper, same kind of answer. Um, let's do that here, but I think I'm going to reverse the input belt on this side so it can come from this iron patch here. We only need one of those, actually. I'm going to do more than one of these. So let's do two of these. And I'm going to do um, six of these. Because six and two, because two and four is six and two. And then if I did that, then this goes up here. Which means that this belt would potentially need to start all the way back there. But I guess I could leave out this part for now until I actually needed it is fine. Um, and those can be slow because these are only producing a couple. Uh, 
two RT2s every 333. Every 256, but not quite. Um, okay, so let's see. Mining of, maybe I should move these all down, but mining of copper. Uh, of copper, coal, everything. You're a Mark II miner. Could also use that coal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. For this, if I could finagle it well enough. I don't need all five here. I only need actually three here. Or two here. So take those three out. Now, coal, I'm going to take like this, and I think I'm going to move it this way. Copper, I'd said I wanted to do the opposite direction, which is fine. I just need to reverse the belts like that. Uh, and then for copper to come out of this thing, I think I want it to go... Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go... Down. This belt needs to get deleted and reversed. This belt, same answer. Deleted and reversed. So you can come down like this and you'll end up going across maybe... Wait, those are Mark II belts. I don't really need Mark II belts, but... I also... Do I need it? You're gonna produce... One every 128. Who cares? Who cares, Molly? Really, who cares? Uh, we'll do copper maybe here. We could do iron. I think I'll do a space. Just for fun. Like that. Uh, we need miners for copper. We only need two of these, but we'll need more later, potentially. Let's do that, and then you're going to go into that one. So let's do up, maybe across, and then you can cross um, this belt here. Crossing. And I really don't need Mark II's again, but that way I can I can have it for scalability later. Uh, we'll just do Mark II's. And then iron and... Okay, iron needs uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good enough. Uh, no, no, don't do those yet. Uh, let's go straight down here into there. And then this will be a little bit squirrely slash squiggly. Uh, there, please. And then this one will go here, there, here. Almost. And let's put a merger there just for fun. into there. I think that'll do it. Who knows? Uh, nope, this, that. You two. Those two. Those six. And you two. Now, we need to do splitting to get the copper and iron up here. Uh, what I'm going to do for that is to think about it some. Uh, you only need one copper and two iron every 333. Okay, so this will be a slow arm, and this will be a fast arm. Uh, this will be, no, these should be slow belts. These should be slow belts, I think. This will be here. Or copper. This one will go up. We'll do a split. Like this. Wait. That's a merge. Do a split. Like this. And then we will have a crossing there. Crossing. Like that. 
And then on the other side, I do copper on the inside, I think. And then I do iron on the outside. The iron might need to be a faster belt here. Actually, let's, let's do, just to be safe, let's do the Mark II belts without doing any math here. Uh, that'll be a split like this. And then we'll do a Mark II crossing because it's a Mark II belt here. You know, I don't think we need that much speed because this is four every 333. So we don't need that kind of speed, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, just for, I don't know, reasons. And then the copper can go up and we're just going to arm the copper in. Uh, because that's fine there. Well, we have to because it's, a, it's the other kind. So I think this works. Uh, we'll need crossings here. And here. And potentially there. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. We'll also need a uh, regular crossing here, here, and here. You'll come down. You'll come down. You can connect up there. You'll need to have a splitter there. Uh, we'll go with a Mark II just for reasons that I don't really understand. We'll do that and this. And by the way, I mean that I don't understand why I'm doing it. Uh, those there. Um, this goes here. This goes here. Uh, actually, that should have been this. This. That. If this works, <laughs> then we're good. Let's see what happens. You're already loaded for bear. Are you running? Oh yeah, we've got some out already. Alrighty, it worked. Look at me. Uh, copy this, let's go up here. Ish. Go up there. I'm gonna copy this whole module um, here like this. I'm gonna do it like this though, I think. Copy that. Put it down right there. Remember when I deleted that that belt there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh well. And I'm just going to let this extra chaff set on the end here. Uh, this will come out. Actually, it'll come out like this. <gasps> no, not that. Uh, let's go out by one more. Are you? Yes, you are. Okay, good. Let's go out by one more here, just for Wally's sanity. Question mark. Oopsie. I know there's already a position occupied there. Let's do this and that. That might should be a merger. This might should be a merger. I don't fully understand why you use mergers or why not. That's okay, too. Let's copy this, but I'm going to change the belt, I think, to be slow. We're not going to produce that much of this stuff. Uh, let's go there. Let's go with slow belt times here, there, and uh, I'm going to dump those in there for right now. We do merger here at the right time. Maybe is an appropriate time. There's an appropriate time. Yeah, it's lame. I know. This one, I might just have to lose one. Nope, right there. And then this will eventually be one as well. Uh, these are RT2s, which should be getting researched. Now, the math. How many RT2s are we making? We're making two every 333, so four every 333. These will burn through one every uh, 1,000. So we'll say that um, we need three labs for every uh, one of these. So we need six labs. So, I mean, that math is correct. We need six labs. Let's see how that goes. Feels like not enough. Wait. It's two every 333. 
12 laps. <laughs> Math is what's for dinner. There, there, go. And it actually is slightly off from that because it's 333 versus that 0.333 kind of thing, but it's fine. So I don't need to split this because we can do this all in one column easily enough um, because six labs are smaller than this, so we're fine there. I kind of like it. I kind of like the insanity of it. Uh, this is in the way, which I guess I should have thought of before I put this all down here. Like, I should have just moved it over that much more. I could fix that. We would lose some of these things, but, eh, that would be fine if I wanted to add more to this. I just don't know if I want to add more to this or not, or if I need to add more to this or not right now. Maybe later I will, and then I will want to move them over and or add more, so maybe I should just do it now. All right, you convince me. Let's do that. I'm going to let them kind of burn through this stuff so I can move the whole thing. Um, but I think that's okay. But I also think that's kind of a good episode for today. So I'm going to let this drain out until all the RT tokens... RT2 tokens... It's redundant. RT2s are made. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the, the belt sources here. It's obviously too much, too fast for this purpose, but I don't really care. And I could have easily used slower belts here, but I also didn't know how much I wanted to scale this up. So I'm kind of just playing it safe uh, instead of having to replace them later. Um, and or keeping with the same belt speed on the same line. Like this could have easily been just a Mark 1 belt here with the crossing in this belt. But just to keep the iron, this iron is all Mark 2. Let's just keep it all Mark 2. So we're going to leave this here. And in the next one, I will, uh, we'll see what else comes up. Uh, what we want to work on next, it might be the research token threes. Uh, we might want to come back to our mall and make some of these other things like solar, uh, that I didn't get made today. I can delete those because we made them. Solar and batteries we might want to make. Let's see, it's, it's chips, cable, and wire. Uh, not necessarily in that order. And then chips, iron, and copper. So we might want to make a bunch of those, set up a, an area to make those, whether that's on the bus here or separately. Um, eventually we're going to run out of iron and copper and need to either add to it or something. Um, and then we could always come back to uh, Long Arms 2. Wait, didn't I make Long Arms 2? I must have made Long Arms 2 because I didn't I use them in this module. Or in this? I used ones here. I used ones here. And those are done already. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we might want to make long arms too as well. Uh, we could we could switch to doing those things and then get to RT3. Uh, we already have an idea of what RT3 might look like given this uh, this module we have here. It's only going to get bigger and uglier, but we'll see what that looks like when we get there. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.